70s, there were a lot of costs that we had to pay for. You had to pay for high inflation, high interest rates, all kinds of economic problems. And once again, we're doing the same thing: guns and butter, pretending that deficits don't matter. We spend endlessly, and not only do we not pay for the war, we don't pay. What we do is we increase the entitlement system here at home, and that can't happen. You can't do it forever. What we need to do is one very simple thing. Obey the Constitution. Yeah. One thing I'm firmly convinced of is that we were blessed to have been uh, given so many freedoms in this country and so much prosperity. But many, many years ago, not this administration or even the one in the 1960s, but even back longer, we have drifted from our convictions and belief that freedom really works. We have decided to let our government get too big, and we allow our politicians to spend too much money. They overtax us, they overborrow, and then when they come up short, they get away with counterfeiting, and they just print the money that they need. Approximately a hundred years ago, we had a significant change in our foreign policy. But also, we had a significant change in our tax policy and our monetary policy. A bad direction. So very simply, I have a couple of positions that I think would help solve a lot of these problems and restrain the growth of government. Get rid of the income tax and get rid of the Federal Reserve System. the purpose of our Constitution and our government and it is national defense and protecting national sovereignty. We don't need the United Nations and we don't need the North American Union. What we need to have is a, uh, a, a new confidence that we were on the right track, we've been on the wrong track now for many decades, and there's no reason that we can't go back to sanity in our government. Limit the size of scope of government, quit the spending, protect the value of money, and above all else, protect the personal liberties of every single individual in this country. when there are emergencies, but if it's an emergency uh, I, economic problem, such as a depression or, or problems here at home or a war going on or the desire to have a war against drugs or a war against whatever, this, the part that gets sacrificed are the personal liberties. It scares the people. All the time the government says, watch 